I'm Brian Van from SportBikeTrackGear.com, and today we're going to do a product review on the Joe Rocket Speedmaster 6.0 One Piece Road Race Suit. Prices begin at $629.99. For the larger sizes, at the top of the scale, it's going to be a few dollars more for the big sizes. Available colors the blue that you see me wearing in all black, as well as a red. Sizes available range from 38 US all the way up to 56 US huge size range. Right now I'm wearing a size 44 US. I'm 207 pounds, 5 feet 11 inches tall, somewhat athletic build, 34 inch waist. I would rate the fit that I'm getting from this 44 to be a pure race fit. It's really snug right now. I could absolutely ride in it. I would have to break this in. Inside the suit I have the back protector that they supply which is pretty substantial as well as the chest padding. I would remove the back protector and use my Knox Aegis that I've ridden in for the last couple of years as that's my back protector of choice. It would fit in here, no worries. But once again, if I wanted more operating room, a more comfortable fit, not a race fit, I'd want to go up to the 46 US. Remember, we are the race suit experts here. Best place to buy it, most sizing information. If you get the suit and it doesn't meet your fit expectations, contact the staff, they'll work through it with you. There's going to be no restocking fees on an exchange, right, or return. All you got to do is follow a couple very simple rules clearly outlined on the site. This is going to ship for free as all orders over $40 ship for free to the lower 48 United States. If you're international, we have really affordable international shipping rates. This, in my opinion, is an excellent value in the one-piece road race suit line. We don't have this included, unfortunately in our 2014 suit shopping guide as we didn't offer the line at the store during the time of filming. If we did, this would have without a doubt been one of our highly recommended suits due to the quality of construction, the features, the benefits, and most significantly what you're getting for that $629. It's a ton of suit for a very small amount of money. Leather is 1.4 millimeter to 1.7 cowhide, depending upon which area of the suit that we're talking about. It varies if it's in an impact zone, out of an impact zone. We've got CE certified armor in the elbows, forearms, shoulders. Got that tie shoulder slider. It's composite, titanium insert, plastic underneath. Armor, of course, is underneath that. It comes with a pretty substantial back protector. It's not CE rated, so you're probably going to want to step up there and use like something like a Knox Aegis, a Force Field piece, an Alpine Stars piece, something like that. It's got foam padding in the chest. It's got CE certified armor in the knee and shin. Also includes the knee pucks. The stretch material that's been used on this suit is the high-end Kevlar based stretch material. You're going to see it all throughout the arms. They blend it into the chest, into the underarm area all throughout in the hips, crotch area, and down the back of the legs as well. The very bottom of the suit is finished using a mesh fabric that enhances cooling and it also pleats up nicely and fits inside the boot easier than leather as it takes up less volume. Perforated panels, heavily perfed here in the upper legs, tons of perf here in the torso, the stretch fabric uh, I tested it. I was able to blow through the stretch fabric. That's also going to move some air as well. There are some tiny little vents that are built into the shoulder sliders. I'm not sure how effective that's really going to be. But it has, without a doubt, the level of perforation that we look for in a one-piece road race suit. The interior liner is a nice quality mesh. It's not removable. To me, that's not a knock. I really, if I had my choice, I would lean more towards the fixed liner is I find that they stand the test of time a little bit better than liners that come in and out. So I think they made a good decision there as well. We've got all genuine YKK zips on this suit, so you've got the quality and the strength that you need there. Fit pattern. Joe Rocket has been making race suits for a long, long time. If you look back in AMA history, even MotoGP history, there's a lot of riders that have ridden in these suits over the years. They continue to refine the pattern over and over to improve it. And with this 6.0, you can really see that. The amount of pre-curve in the arms is just right in the impact zones, right? We've got large panels of leather to be very protective 
And one area they really focused on was the shape in the knee. They've done a great job with that. Motion panel here, multi-panel in the knee. We've got some energy absorbing foam in here that's layered with the leather and the armor for additional protection. In the seat of the suit, they use two panels of leather as that is one of the key impact and slide zones. Like I said, we're gonna give this suit very high marks all around, especially considering the price point it sells at. I don't know that I see another suit out there that sells at this price point that gives you everything that you're looking at here. One main difference between this and some of the other suits is the styling on this one's a little bit more muted. You know, Joe Rockets always kind of kept their style a little more conservative, and I think that lends itself to many different riders, which is probably another plus. If you like what you've seen so far and you want some more details, stay tuned. We're going to get the suit off, disassemble it, give you a closer look from the inside out. Okay, here we go. The Joe Rocket Speedmaster 6.0 one-piece race suit from the inside out. We have foam padding in the chest, removable on both sides. No certification, but it will help to manage some energy. Soft shell CE certified armor in the shoulders. Remember, that's going to work in concert with that titanium and plastic shoulder plate. CE certified soft shell armor, elbow and forearm. In the knee and shin, we're using GP style hard outer plastic shell with energy absorbing foam on the backside, also CE certified. The suit that we have here today comes with a back pad. There is no certification with this. You can put the Joe Rocket CE certified back insert in here if you want to. It's $80.99. You'll need the size large, extra large. It's available in the Joe Rocket armor section of our website. You can also put the Knox TP2 CE certified back protector. It's just under $30. You'll need part number 67. It's located in the Knox armor section of our website. That said, with a race suit, our recommendation is to use a standalone back protector. In that case, you would just remove this, use your standalone back protector like a Knox Aegis or like a force field piece, some of the Alpine Star stuff. We feel that with a race suit, that is a better match. Shell of the suit itself, we have 1.4 to 1.7 millimeter thick leather depends upon the area of the suit. Subtle race hump, very clean design back here. Large motion panel here in the shoulder blade area. Some localized perforation right here just above the waist. We've got a big motion panel here that wraps all the way around the front of the waist. In the seat, we're gonna use two layers of leather. That is a high impact and abrasion zone. For the tailbone, there is a protector that is stitched in here, some high density memory foam. Back of the legs uses that nice Kevlar stretch. We've got mesh at the very end of the leg out of the impact and abrasion zone. This really goes nicely inside the boot. It reduces the bulk and makes it much more comfortable. Get to the front of the suit. Go to the arm here. The shoulder seams and design that they use here, they've learned over the years this is a more durable manner in which to design the shoulder. We've got that inlaid composite protector, titanium there. Plastic here works with the armor to be, have a very protective area here in the shoulder. Big panels here, solid leather in the elbow and forearm area. That is impact zone without a doubt. We have that Kevlar based stretch fabric that goes all the way from the cuff up through the arm into the chest and they blend a piece into the underarm area to increase mobility. Front of the suit, huge perforated panel here, perfect way to drive air into the suit to keep you cool. Rocket logo is split by the YKK zip. We have a no restriction style collar. It's rolled with air preen to be comfortable. You can see the interior mesh liner it is non-removable. Here is the pocket for that chest padding. Easy in, easy out, depending on whether or not you want to use it. More perforation here in the upper leg. Kevlar stretch in through the thighs. Large leather motion panel here in the knee. Replaceable knee pucks. 
They have a nice shape here to the knee. They've got some temper foam at the bottom that complements the CE armor and the shin. There's also some foam stitched in here in the multiple layers. They've done a really good job with the knee. They've learned quite a bit about building race suits over the years. All in all, what do I think of this? The price it sells at, it begins at $629. Most of the sizes are at that $629 price point. I think this is a real value. It fits nice. They've been building suits for a long time. This is a good value priced one piece road race suit.